All right, welcome to this latest project. Um, this time I'm combining a whole new concept of interfacing the Raspberry Pi to Arduino. First, let's take a close look at the components that we have here. Let's zoom in a bit. This, of course, is my Raspberry Pi off to the side. Over there comes its ribbon cable, and that's your little interface board. That's the level converter board. That's my real-time clock that I had programmed in from another project. And once again, this is an Arduino Nano. The only difference is this time when I'm, I'm accessing information from the Arduino, in this example, we will be uh, using one of these 18... A DS18B20 centigrade temperature sensors. I've programmed the Arduino on boot up to uh, read the sensor and store the value as an integer, 16 bit integer, in a variable. What we do here is when I run the program um, th from the Arduino, is the Arduino will reset the will be reset by the Raspberry Pi through this connection here. It will reset the Raspberry Pi. It will read the information from the sensor and then I can read the Raspberry Pi like uh, like it was simply a serial it, the Raspberry, I mean the Arduino is simply programmed to act as a basic serial interface chip. I do not use um, I squared C or any of that stuff. I use uh, it's just a couple of connections to the Arduino. It's fast, and I and I'm not constrained with the problems with the uh, I2C business. Uh, I can transfer an entire integer or any number of bits in a single read. So let's give it a run. Let's pull back. Uh, in addition to the Raspberry Pi being interfaced to Arduino, Raspberry Pi is also directly interfaced to a two-line by 16-character LCD display. It's, my, it's the uh, serial LCD display that I have used in a number of other projects. Alright, I'm going to uh, execute the program it will reset Arduino it will do a temperature convert it will do a temperature conversion send the end send the integer return value to Raspberry Pi that does the calculations and displays it on the LCD display That's how it works. And I can hook up any number of uh, different sensors to Arduino and read the outputs at will. The advantage to this is I don't need special libraries. I don't need any kind of special connections. Uh, all the programming on the Raspberry Pi is in Python. And the programming on Arduino is standard, is the Arduino C that we're all used to. And so that's the point here. No, nothing special to buy. No libraries to chase around that you probably can't find and can't interpret or figure out what they're doing. So we'll look at, uh, we'll also look closer into this project as we move along. <laughs> 